Oh my goodness, Cecilia, I like that. Uh, thank you everyone and uh, good morning. I don't know if I need to move this. Let's see, we'll do that, we'll try that. So uh, I was asked to keynote this event and I was both flattered and pretty excited. Uh, chance to be in front of all of you and of course hear what um, has been done and um, talk a little bit more about my experience was really exciting. Um, but I was also a little bit nervous and I was told to be myself. Uh, they told me to tell, me, tell you all something about my childhood, maybe say a little bit about philanthropy, but don't worry, I'll be great. So, Hineni, here I am. And uh, thank you, Jim, everyone at the Federation for inviting me. I want to thank uh, my Israeli friend, Ariel Brownstein, who helped me with some of my, uh, you'll see, there's some Hebrew in here, and I needed some help with that, uh, as well as, of course, my wife and my friends who are here, so thank you. So where to start? I thought I would start with the Aleph Bet. Maybe you know this song. This is how you might have learned about our scary ancient language. The letters that created the words of the Torah. And for me, I guess, a foundation for my understanding of life. But I will not be singing the Aleph Bet. Instead, please allow me, if you will, to use the Aleph Bet as a guide, a very quick guide, maybe 22 minutes, to talk about me and my family, Jewishness, business, philanthropy, a way of life, how I'd like to be Jewish, what I want in my life, and really what is a mensch, which I think is uh, an important word today as we hear about Harry, and um, you know, I think he really embodies that word in an incredible way. So um, it was nice for me to hear that before I got a chance to, to speak with you. So let's start with Aleph, um, Abba and Ima, uh, a great place for me to start. I grew up in a family that believed that the traditions and values of Judaism were maybe more important than the rituals themselves. Yes, we went to temple, mostly on occasion. And yes, we did the motzi on most Shabbats. But I'm really more proud of being a product of Jewish values. I was told, be a mensch. It's all that I really have. And we again see Harry has really embodied that. It's wonderful. I was told, be educated, because education was not a maybe. My father was a public school teacher, and everyone goes to college. It's not some people, it's everyone. And be kind to others. My mother was a nurse, so that was an easy one. And most importantly, be thankful. Be fortunate and be thankful. My parents came from nothing, and their parents came from even less. They had bet, bupkis, beans. However, Marcy and I have bupkis.com. I am Kaplan at bupkis.com, and Marcy is Marcy at bupkis.com. You can email us whenever you want. <laughs> Gimel, Gadol. I was taught the Jewish way, think big. We heard that tonight. Big thoughts, big ideas, change the world. You have a responsibility to think big, I was told. Dalit, door by door. But it's not going to be just about you. Think of the future, think of the generations to come, they said. The Federation is a great example. Think of the generations to come. Dream big, you should be a doctor. I met Jonathan Kaplan over there, who is a doctor. My mom would be so proud. <laughs> Incredible, what are the chances? Only at a Federation event. <laughs> hey, Haggadah. I went to university and my Jewishness went with me yet not in the traditional way. It was the Passover Seder that kept me engaged. This yearly event became the cornerstone of my many college friendships. We held our first Seder my freshman year, and now, 29 years later, my Seder brings my family together with over 50 other families from around the country. They're with each other, they share with each other, they learn with each other. Not everyone comes every year. This year we had 68. But everyone knows that Seder will happen. It's amazing to have such tradition. It's really what's amazing about being Jewish. Vav and the ultimate conjunction of family. Marcy Glazer and me. My wife and now CEO of the JCCSF. Uh, but for Wexner, as they would say. Without her, I would definitely not be up here this morning. And um, I owe a lot to her, uh, mostly bringing my Jewishness back. And when I was growing up, I dated Jews and I dated non-Jews. And I thought love was 
really separate from religion. And I found that, uh, interestingly enough, having a partner who shares your values and who knows where you've been and who knows where you're going uh, has made a real difference in my life. So I thank her for keeping me as Jewish as I am. Also us and Samantha, our beautiful and creative daughter. We're so lucky to have her. Um, we decided not to have a second child because for us, she was just perfect and we didn't think that we could find anything better. So I love her very much. Zion Zahor, remember, this is where the flip video camcorder comes into our conversation. Some of you might even remember that little device that helped to change the world. And you heard a little bit about it in my bio, but it was a small and inexpensive, but empowering product. It helped spawn new ideas. It captured first steps. It recorded last words. It was a memory maker, but it always told the truth. But creating Flip was a huge struggle. It took six years before the Flip was even remotely successful. Chet Chazak. For all the entrepreneurs out there, be strong. You've heard it from Harry. Flip video was the crazy idea that became, according to Time Magazine, one of the best inventions of the year. My prior companies took years to grow. Several of them failed. Many of them flourished. Jews don't give up. We struggle. We have strength. Chazak. Tet. Toev. A mentor of mine once told me, do good now because you never know if you're going to make it. Many leaders wait for success to give back to the world. How do you know that you're going to be able to give if you don't know that you're going to be successful? We heard this from Harry. We started Flip for Good on day one with nothing. We asked ourselves, it's a little creepy of Harry's story, I got to tell you. We asked ourselves, how can we use the power of video on day one? How can we use the power of video to use in nonprofits to do good? Eventually, we sold a lot of video cameras, and you heard seven million of them. I love that number, it's a great number. But the few that were given away to the nonprofits in the beginning had soon grown into thousands and thousands of units, units that were used in philanthropy in a way that made us the most proud of our accomplishments with Flip. Flip video changed elections in foreign countries. It highlighted the realities of human trafficking. It monitored UN food shipments. It trained advocates, and it celebrated deserving heroes. The philanthropic flight of Flip, which Marcy en ended up running, was really um, what made Flip so special. Yud, Yisrael. Instead of speaking about Israeli politics, a topic that I know very little about, my uncle Yussel once told me, just tell a joke. So here we go. <laughs> the Israeli crew team is readying for their first ever international competition, and things are not going well. Really not well. The coaches, and more importantly, the investors, are furious and embarrassed. So they fund a trip to Boston to understand how the good folks at Harvard do crew. They arrive in Cambridge and carefully observe the teams practicing on the Charles. The investors are complaining about added expenses. Look at how fancy the boats are. They have such better equipment. They're using advanced technologies. And unwilling to spend any more money, they return home to Israel, leaving the coaches to try to figure things out. A few days later, the coaches return home and call a meeting with the entire Israeli team and all of the investors. And I quote, they say, it's no wonder our team isn't competitive. We have all eight athletes yelling at each other and only one person rowing. <laughs> Kaf, Kavanaugh. After the sale of Flip Video to Cisco, I could really choose my next career with intention. I wanted to build another great business, create wealth for my employees, but I also wanted to spread that wealth further than the 200 or so employees that my previous three other technology companies had allowed. I wanted to be less leveraged. Lamed, Lama, why? Less leveraged, why? You're crazy. Mem, Midrash. It all seemed logical to me. Take the facts. America needs more jobs, and kids need to eat better. And tell a meaningful story, Midrash. The Melt is going to create a highly profitable chain of fast casual restaurants that serve 100% all natural food 
that our kids will love despite the fact that it has less fat, no high fructose corn syrup, less sugar, no calories than all of our competitors. We'll create great burgers, great grilled cheese sandwiches, great fries, but we'll do it in a better way. And let's pay the highest wages and offer great benefits to our staff. It's, what's make a great, it's what makes a great entrepreneur. Midrash. Nun, 50. Because I'm approaching 50, whew, which feels inconceivable to me, except for when I look in the mirror, <laughs> I want to use the next few Hebrew letters to share a little bit of wisdom. And there's so much wisdom in this room, it's almost hard for me to even consider the idea that I could share some, but I'll do my best. Samech, slicha. It's okay to say, excuse me. It's also easy to say, I'm sorry. People think it's hard to say, I'm sorry, but it's easy to say, I'm sorry. And it's most important to say, thank you. A little thank you goes a long way. Sometimes it's also important to be silent. Ayen, ayen is silent. It's a rarity for anything Jewish to be silent. But silence can be very powerful. It's a great management tool, a great negotiation tool, and a great diffuser. Silence allows us to listen. Pay. Pe. Let's use our mouth wisely. As Jews, we learn to speak out. We speak for what is right, for what is just, but words can also be swords. So when we speak, let us speak carefully. Sadi, sadaka, justice through charity, philanthropy, giving back. There's not much more to say, really. You're all here, so you know what you are doing, and you know where your part lies. I'd like to take a moment to recognize and importantly thank Carol and Harry for their leadership and their commitment to Sadaka and to the foundation for all the work that they do. Kuf, Cole, we must use our voice to better the world. We may tweet, we may email, we may post, but we should be heard. Our voice can be as powerful as our philanthropy. Reish, Ruach, let's humbly give our spirit to the world. Let's smile, let's be gracious and generous. Let's be thoughtful and hopeful. Let's remember to love and forget to hate. And as my mom would tell me, be a mensch. Shalom and tada. I don't know if anyone has any questions about anything. I was told to ask if there's a question that you want to ask me, I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, you can go back to drinking your mimosa. <laughs> yes? What did the vice president order last week? <laughs> uh, so we were fortunate enough to have the vice president join us, and he had a classic grilled cheese. He had tomato soup, and he had a chocolate shake. And I thought that he was ordering it um, out of like just being the vice president and he's there for a photo shoot, but he ate everything. I mean, every drop of soup, every bit, and the entire chocolate shake. So I must, must have been hungry. <laughs> but it was great to have him there. And it was really uh, more for my employees and for my team than for me, the idea of uh, a vice president you know, coming and, and visiting their restaurant. It was a real uh, testament to the idea of our mission to bring more jobs to our Americans figure out a way to have the middle class have real career paths and, um, and uh, leverage what we're trying to do in the technology world to uh, a greater group of people. Yeah? What was the biggest challenge or, or surprise with technology to, to, to do? You know, it's interesting because um, entrepreneurs don't think that way. <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, our brains are wired in such a fashion that we don't really see any challenges. And so um, making the transition was easy. I'm gonna start a fast casual restaurant chain and it's gonna um, make better food and go public and we'll be like the next Shake Shack and that's what's gonna happen. Um, the reality of that, of course, as we all learn, um, is it doesn't go as fast as you want. Um, it's a challenging business. Businesses with people are incredibly challenging. Businesses with real estate are incredibly challenging. Uh, technology is much more leveraged. You make a great product if someone loves it. You make a great software application. 
and um, you know you get immediate feedback. The difference in the food world, yes, we get immediate feedback, but we can't just change the menu tomorrow because we have 500 people that we need to train on what that new menu is. We need to get our supply chain to have that new menu. We need to have our equipment to be able to service that new menu. We need to put that menu, new menu in every restaurant. So things take a lot longer. And I started my career in software only, and then I went to a consumer electronics and software product, and now I'm in food service uh, that's using software more for experience. Jonathan? Yes? How were you and Marcy teaching your daughter the alphabet? <laughs> well, fortunately, Danny, my daughter, for whatever reason, loves to read like her mother, and she can memorize anything. And between her reading, the computer, as we all know, and just hearing us and her wanting to be so much like her mom, uh, she just memorizes it incredibly quickly. We have a huge argument about when does she go to Hebrew school? Does she go to Hebrew school now? Does she go to Hebrew school a year from now? Do, you know, should we have put her in Hebrew school already? And her love of Judaism and her love of um, her mom and what her mom's doing, I mean, she comes every Friday to the JCC and um, they have Shabbat together and she is with the chief Jewish officer walking around the JCC learning what it's like to be Jewish and it's exactly what we want her to do. So um, it's been a real blessing, Marcy's new position for us. Great, well thank you everyone, I appreciate it. <laughs> Great, I want to get for you.